Well, welcome to, to Notts County. Yeah, I guess let, let's start with, with what made you jump at the chance to come to Meadow Lane. Well, as soon as I found out, um, off off the gaffer here, um, you know, I was, I was really keen to come. You know, it was a massive club, a great history. And uh, obviously, at the minute, I need uh, regular game time. And, you know, I think... Uh, I think Notts County this year will will do well in the in the national league, and I think it's a, a great fit. And hopefully, I'll you know I'll, I'll do well and get some goals and you know help the team push on up the up the table. He mentioned in his interview that he'd been interested in you in the past, but it hadn't quite worked out. Had you been aware of that interest? Has, has Notts County been on your radar for a while? Uh, um, to be honest, no. Um, yeah, obviously, Gaffer spoke to me. Uh, I know he's he's liked me as a player for a couple of years now. Um, Obviously, not quite managed to work with him before, but obviously now I've um, got the opportunity to work with him this season. Uh, maybe only for a short time, but you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting stuck right into it. You mentioned game time being important. I mean, just how important as a player is that? I mean, yes, you're in League Two, you, you've dropped down one level, but you know, getting game time is that something for you that's so important? Yeah, it's massive. You know, um, especially at my age, I'm, you know, I'm 24. It is. I need to be playing regular every week, you know, to get the to get the best out of me personally. Um, so yeah, as soon as I found out I can get a run of games here, you know, like I said, it was a no-brainer, and um, I'm looking forward to it. A few players have mentioned, you know, since Notts County have dropped into the National League, that the, the gap really between the National League and League Two is not that different these days. Is that something that you would buy into? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. You know, it's not, you know, the National League's a very very competitive league. It's it's a tough it's a tough um, tough league and there's there's some good teams in there obviously and there's some good players as well, you know. Uh League Two obviously, you know, just because it's League Two is not much of a massive gap. But um, you know, I, I think there's really not much that into it really. And I wonder, you know, how how it will be to settle in. Again we spoke with the manager about the players he's brought in from abroad and how strange it is for them to settle in in the environment where you can't go out, you can't see the sights, you can't do this with your teammates and and for you to an extent as well, a, a new club, you know, how how hard is it to come to a new club with I guess maybe the rituals of, of being with your new teammates in different places, you know, how, how hard can that be, do you think? Yeah, obviously like, like I say, it can be difficult. Um not seeing, not seeing lads like a lot, you know, after training. Um, obviously, if, at the minute for me, I'm just in an hotel a couple of nights a week, and obviously be travelling in um, from home. But um, yeah, you know, obviously it can, it can be hard when you can't do like other stuff after football. You know, like even just going out for a coffee, a bit of food. You know, it's but everyone's in the same position, and and suppose you just got to get on with it. You know, until like the government changes the rules, but. Obviously, it's my first day today, and the lads have been welcoming, as have everyone has the staff as well. Um, but yeah, it's, they seem really nice, and you know, like I say, I'm just uh, looking forward to it now. You mentioned a good point there. I mean, obviously, it's, it's strange for you coming to a new club, but every football club's going through it, no matter what. Whether you've, you know, you've been at a club for ten years, the, the way things are working now with with COVID nineteen it is so strange. And I just wonder how mentally tough that is as a footballer to not be able to maybe get those. You know, you play intense games on a Saturday and a Tuesday. How mentally tough it is for a footballer to not be able to get those moments where you can just get away from the game as much. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, it's um, especially with the fixture list um, being back to back with Saturday and Tuesdays now. You know, you've got to be mentally ready as well as as physically ready. So, you know, I think once you finish training and you've played the games, it's it's, it's time to rest up and recover, right? You know, because it's literally back to back games and. You need to be you need to be ready for it, don't you? Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, Chris Lee. Hi Tom, how you doing, mate? You okay? Hi, you alright, you? Yeah, you can't see me, which is probably just as well in fairness. Yeah, um, no worries. <laughs> uh, Tom, just talk me through the mechanics of the move and when sort of how the move came about and when did you first learn of of Knox's interest? Uh just over last weekend really, you know, um, the gaffer mentioned it to to my agent. Um, obviously, the gaffer arrogant mentioned my agent that not have been interested, and uh, they wanted to take me out on loan and you know and get some games. And and like I said, if if I'm not going to be playing at Arrogate uh, at this minute, then the best thing for me to do is just get out there, get a run of games, and you know and get get playing, and hopefully show what everyone I can do. 
But what, what, what was the situation at Harrogate? Because obviously you moved there in the summer. Was it? Is it just the case of the team doing so well that you haven't been able to get in, or what? You know, why have you not sort of been involved? Um, I'd say you know it's obviously coming to a new team. It's it's never it's never easy like straight away. But you know I've I've only had limited starts um, at Harrogate. And obviously I've sat down with the gaffer there and, and it's, it's not quite worked out yet at the minute because, like you say, they've had some good results. They started off well to, to the season and uh, I've played in a few cup games and I've you know, been coming off the bench. But for me, as a player, I, like, I need to be playing every week. you know. And um, I think that's the only reason, really. I've not been getting the opportunities because the lads there, have, you know, they've, they've done well, to be fair to them. And uh, I just need to be, like I say, I need to be playing uh, week in, week out. And, and is it something that you'd like to? I know, I know it's only until January, but January is only sort of like just over a month away. Yeah. Um, would you like to extend it to the end of the season, if possible? Or are you sort of not not decided on that yet? Well, you know, I'm just going to see how see how it goes. You know, um, I've obviously I've come here to to do a job. Um, I know obviously the managers mentioned that one of the key players here has been injured. Um, so, you know, if if depending on how, if I do well, and you know, I, obviously. I'd, I'd like to stay if if it did, did thing uh, if things did go well, sorry, um, and yeah, and just go from there. And obviously, I'd have, have to speak to you know my former club Arrogate and see if they what what they do with me if they want to extend it or they want to bring me back. You know, I just it's only time will tell. But what are your sort of first impressions of the of the club? I know you obviously played against them before. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, it's, it's a massive club. Um, personally, I obviously don't think they should be in the national league. You know, um, but. Like I said, um, I've, I've been enjoyed it today training. My first session with lads, you know, it was a good, good set of lads, good intensity, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to get, getting going uh, for Notts County. I, I, I've never seen the manager to try to sign you a number of times before. How important is that as a player to feel sort of that wanted by, by somebody who's, who's obviously tried a couple of times to get you get you over the line in, in the past? Yeah, I think you know it's it's massive. You know, if you've got a manager there who you know has, like I said, has been. Keeping tabs on me and, and chasing me, you know, and, and uh, looking how I've progressed, you know, it, it's massive for me personally. You know, I, I, you know, for a manager to believe in me and, and give faith, uh, put faith in me, and trust in what I can do. Um, yeah, it it's obviously it helps me on on the pitch. Brilliant, mate. Thank you. Cheers, I wish you all the very best, mate. Top man. Cheers, thank you, mate. Go on, Jake. Well, hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. How are you? Okay. How are you? Good, thanks, you. Yeah, all good, thank you. Good. Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, sorry if there's a bit of delay or something. Um, yeah, just a few um, follow-up questions based on what's already been asked, really. Um, but if you were to describe your game to the fans and what you can bring to the team, how would you? Uh, I'd say I'm a, you know, I'm a positive um, direct winger um, or attacking midfielder. I like to, I like to get out, get out defenders, get crosses in, you know, get some shots off. Uh, I like to take defenders on, and um, yeah, just like I said, I'm pretty known for. Getting assists and goals, really, and hoping that I can I can do it here. Have you always been a winger or an attacking midfielder? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I've 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 played most most of my football career on the left, on the right wing, um, sometimes in 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 the number ten position behind the striker, um, and I can play centre mid as well, like as a number eight, like more of an attacking midfielder. Uh, obviously, I'm not like a sitting one, but yeah, I've mostly played attacking attacking positions most of my life. Yeah. Like you say, you're quite a quite a versatile player. Do you have a preferred position out of all of those? Uh, no, not really. To be honest, you know, obviously, as long as I'm playing, um, I think that's all that matters uh, to me. Um, right, left, left wing, right wing. Like I said, um, as long as I'm, you know, I'm playing, I'm comfortable to to do a job. And you mentioned, of course, that you've uh, come to um, play a bit more regularly. What else are you hoping to achieve during your time at uh, Medellin? Well, like I say, first and foremost is get some games, get my fitness up, uh, and hopefully just do well for the for the club and for the team, and get as as many points as we can on the board and push them up to, you know, to the automatic promotion spot. Great stuff. And yeah, of course, you mentioned the first training session you had it today, and and it's your first day. How was that uh, meeting all the players and the coaching staff for the first time? Yeah, that was good. You know, it's um, you just got to take it in, in your stride. Um, Getting used to everyone's, you know, um, the names and stuff. Still not quite got everyone's names yet, but you know the staff have been brilliant. You know, everyone's everyone's welcomed me really nice, and uh, yeah, I've you know it's good first day.